Hi yo people, I'm back with another video. If you're watching this, I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're feeling blessed. I hope this is reaching you all good vibes and that. Basically, this video I want to talk about how I've been using my weekends to have my weekdays more productive. So basically, a few weeks ago, a while ago, I was realizing like, yo, I'm just seamlessly going from week to week. But sometimes the week I had wasn't as productive as I wanted. So I was like, oh, how can I fix this? So basically, what I decided to come up with is a thing I like to call Systems Day. So basically, I realised Sunday's like, you know what I mean, Sunday's a day everyone's like, oh yeah, let me chill out, let me have a lie-in. But for multiple reasons, I feel like Sunday can be used to make you love Mondays and make your whole week productive. So I'm going to get into that. So, so what I do on Sundays, there's three main things I do on Sundays now, yeah. So basically, I take care of my ground zero. I'm in my room right now, like you can't see it, but it's mad clean right now. I feel so good, like there's so much open space. It's opened my mind and that includes other things like cars and that. Uh, number two, self-care, self-care Sundays. This is little things like, you know what I mean? For me, I had a nice little gym session the other day. That was a brilliant self-care for me, but for you, or for next week, I'm gonna go to the spa, or it could be like, you know, taking care of your like hygiene, all that, having a nice little shower. And then the third thing, the most important thing, it's planning your weeks. Look at that. Planning your weeks. So, and then analyzing your last week. So, I'm just gonna break into all three of those components and then just get into it. Cool. All right. So the first thing that I think is the most important thing on Sundays is to take care of your ground zero. So, what do I mean by your ground zero? Where you wake up in the morning, where you spend most of your time, you need to take care of that. So, for me. My bedroom, my bedroom, I'm not, I'm not really a messy person, so my bedroom's never been messy. But what I basically did have is I had loads of books on the floor and loads of uh, journals and notepads and pens because basically I wanted to, every time I walked into my room, I wanted to build a habit of I either sit down and read or I sit down and write. So, which was, it was good, but I got to a point there were so many books and there were so many papers that it just got messy. And like I would, it would defeat the purpose because I don't want to sit in that area because it was just too much. Or like I had a prayer mat in my room, and in my head it was a good idea. I just always left my prayer mat out, so if I came in, I'd pray. But I realized all of these things around, it was just taking so much space. And then the more things you have in your room, the more things you add, and then your room starts to get cluttered. And then basically, when you're living in it, you don't really realize. So until I clean my room and I declutter everything, I realized like the bliss and relaxation I feel. And my room wasn't even messy, like, my room was not messy. It just had a few things on the floor here and there, like books. But now it's empty space, I just feel so much more relaxed. Like, I woke up, I got out of bed, and I jumped out of bed. Like, I was like, right, there's just so much space. Like, the clarity you have in your head. And I remember one thing, I've always known about this, but another thing that uh, motivated me to do it as well, where someone was talking about that you don't understand the mental space it occupies in your head, that you keep thinking, oh, I need to take care of this, I need to move this, but you don't do it. So it's implicitly taking some of your mental space by not cleaning it. So that's what I say, take clean, clean your room basically. I just said, I took two minutes to say clean your room. Next thing, like for me, I'm always in my car and because I'm driving and I use it for work, I don't tell my insurance company. <laughs> now I actually hope that never comes back to me. But yeah, um, my the spare thing starts to build up my car. My boot is packed. Like there's so many things. So I wish I didn't get to do it yesterday, but another thing I would do in that is clean my car. Cool, another thing, what can I go into? Mm -hmm. Ground zero, ground zero. Ground zero. Alright, alright, cool. Next thing I'm going to talk about is self care. So, a lot of people on Sundays, and this is a big tangent for life, which I've realised for myself, I don't know if it applies to other people. I used to think when I wanted to relax, so I just wanted to chill what would be the best thing to do is what everyone says, like lie in bed, watch Netflix and that, just munch shit. But I've realized that's, that it doesn't work for me. Like that, I don't feel better after doing that. Do you know what I mean? I feel the same way, I feel worse. I realized a better day for me would be going on a walk, getting an exercise, but like no like time pressure on anything. It's just, I went to the gym, my boy at like what, 9.30, no time limits, finished at like 12. So for me, after that session, I was feeling good, like, I was feeling good. Like, if I lied in till 12, 1, I would not have felt as good as after that session. So, but on what I'd say with that, it's just, you gotta find a thing for you that you really like to do or really make you feel better and do it on Sundays. And next week, I'm 
definitely going to the spa. I need to like, bro, like, get some tension out of my shoulders. So I need to do that. So Sundays, what I say is, have a nice little self care thing, man. Something that you like to do. For me, my, for me, I also had like a long shower. You know, what I'm saying if you're always waking up early in the weekdays, you got to rush out. You, you might not get time to have a nice little shower in it. But the most important thing I want to say on this one, which people are probably gonna think is crazy, but what I've realised for this week, I think, as always, I don't kind of give myself days off on the weekend. Like every day I try to wake up at, right now is 6 for you. 6.25, I'm trying to get earlier, but right now it's 6.25. So I've realized instead of Saturday, Sunday, I take a break from waking up at 6.25. Saturday, Sunday, I still wake up at 6.25. And you might be thinking, why? Like there's no time pressure. Every day is a work day, but there's no time pressure on the weekends. But if you wake up the same time you aim to wake up on the weekdays, you'll actually sleep better and wake up better on the weekdays, that makes sense. Like, because you're trying to wake up at 7, Monday to Friday, then Saturday, Sunday, you sleep till 2 p.m. You're basically messing with your circadian rhythm. Like, your body can't get that, like, um, rhythm in balance of waking up. So, me, what I'm trying to do is I just wake up 6.45 every single day. 6.45 every single day. And I also use the weekends as an opportunity to get good sleep. I try to get in bed when I want to sleep. And I sleep and I wake up properly. So, this Monday, I woke up. And I jumped out of bed. In fact, I woke up early and I was like, I still had 15, 20 minutes early. Even that Sunday as well, I woke up at like five and I was thinking, oh my God, I've, I've, I thought I've slept in. Had no man even gone off yet. So basically what I'm trying to say is use Sundays, self-care, do your something for self-care, but also get a good night's sleep. And on those weekends, Saturday and Sunday, wake up at a normal time. You'd usually wake up on the weekdays because it will help you sleep better during the weekdays. You know what I'm saying? That seven days waking up same time, you won't be tired when you wake up and it'll just be normal. Your body will wake you up without needing an alarm. That's what I'd say on self-care. Cool, cool. The most important thing which I'm working on and I'm trying to incorporate in my life a bit more is using Sundays or the weekends as a reflection and a looking forward. You get know what I'm trying to say? Reflection and a looking forward. You know what I'm saying? So basically what I'm trying to say is... Monday to Friday, Saturday, you're doing whatever you're doing. If you're working or you're going to school or you're self-employed or whatever, you go through your week and whether you know it or not, you know whether you had a good week or a bad week. But what we usually do as people is just kind of keep that in our mental, internal, and think, oh, what could I have done better? But I'm trying to propose to do and to do for myself is actually journal and actually take an analysis. Like, this works better if you journal every single day, but it'll still work if you just sit on a Sunday. So, like, let's say Sunday evening or Saturday, or maybe even Sunday morning, you sit down and it's like, okay, how did the week go? What went well? Even better if, for me, I'd say, do you know what, Monday to Friday, I was really productive. Saturday, I was somewhere, I was at a meeting business, which was productive, but I could have used my time, my spare time while I was there, more productively. I could have had a plan or something I enacted. I should have recorded something on Friday, but I actually waited till Sunday. You know what I'm saying? That's what I could be writing. So I'd be like, right, cool. Why did I do that? Oh, because I didn't schedule it in. Why didn't you schedule it in? Because I was being lazy or just etc. etc. So that's what I'd say. So look back on your weekdays, Monday to Saturday. And then on Sunday, like do basically like what went well, even better if you'd be like, okay, I did this, this was a good tick, pat on the back, like I got my university certificate. Uh, I didn't actually care, like I didn't actually care, but I was like, you know what, always reward yourself for small steps, I was like, nice, do it again, but for money, <laughs> but yeah, so, and then use it to look forward, so I've actually got this, let me show you this, listen, so look, look at this thing, I call, I got, um, I got to cover the names of these people in it, because I'm doing interviews, but yeah, I've got Monday, Tuesday, basically days of the week, and as you can see, it's uh, it's empty because I don't live what I preach. I'm just, uh, I'm, a, I'm a fake guru. I'm not, but yeah. In an ideal world, all of this would have been planned out. I actually did Monday, but I wrote it into my journal. So I'm going to transfer it this morning. And yeah, basically, if you get yourself one of these, I've also ordered a better journal where you can plan your time to the... Basically, this is just helpful. Like, if you can use this productively... And plan up your week ahead you can actually get productive it's actually let me show you this as well it's got a what's it got it's got a to do it's 
It's got a habit tracker and it's also got notes for the week. Yeah, that is my thing on Sundays. How to use Sundays to love Mondays. So to recap, clean your ground zero. I think even if you just take one thing from this, on the weekends or whenever you kind of clean your room, also like wash all my clothes, clean my car, just do all the mundane things that don't matter. That's another thing I forgot to add as well. Maybe I can retrospectively add this. Yeah, basically throughout the week, there's loads of things that I need to do, but they're just not important. Like, you know what I mean? Like someone, I might need to order something for a class, or I might need to return something to the post office, or I might need to go, you know what I mean? Just, just things that are just, you have to do them, but they're not important or productive in any way. So what I do is throughout the week, anytime something comes like, let's say it's Monday, and I realise, damn, like, I've got to go to Costco. Like, I'm not going to go that Monday when I realise I'll just put, I right, do on Sunday. You know what I'm saying? So on Sunday, I've got a bunch of irrelevant, irrelevant kind of things I can just do on Sunday. And you know what I mean? It kind of helps because instead of during the week thinking, oh, I've got to go to Costco, or, I've got to go to Costco, or, I've got to order this thing, but I'm not doing it because I'm there, there, there. I just put it, do it on Sunday. So when it comes to Sunday, I'm like, okay, what is all the relevant things I can do today? Do you know what I'm saying? So use Sunday as that. So I forgot to add that. I don't know if I'll cut this and add it or just, you're just watching it now. But um, mm. uh, self-care day, man. Like either go for a nice little walk, a nice little spa, watch a movie anything i don't actually think anybody enjoys lying in bed watching things in the dark while eating shit like i think society tells us that's relaxation i don't believe that's relaxation you will feel infinitely better if you go for a walk and just look at trees i promise you so that's the self-care and the last thing is analyzing your last week and then planning your next week and using your what went well from your last week and even better if to make your week slightly better and you know what is i think it i would say with this thing it is kind of it's active it's active you can't passively journal because if you really journal and you get into it it can actually go on for a long time so you need to kind of sit down like cool i'm doing this and then when you do it you actually like it it's, it's kind of nice to like look through how you acted and how you maneuvered through last week and you kind of see where you tripped yourself up and then you can take that and be like, right, cool, I'm not trying to do that this week. So if you're in a situation where like, okay, cool, I kept spending 5, 10, 15 minutes lying in bed before I got out of bed. But I write that down, I'm like, cool, I did that. Next time I'm in bed, it's going to come to my head like, well, last week you said you were doing this, like, you're going to do it again, do you get what I mean? So you kind of get to hold yourself accountable while you're in the act of doing something that you've been slipping over. So, yeah, and then just plan for the week. Like, if you get into a situation of, or habit of continuously doing this, even if it's bit by bit, you'll improve week on week on things that had you not been analysing, you'd just be in a state of constantly slacking on that, if that makes sense. So for me, one thing I'm always trying to work on is getting out of bed quicker. Like before, like I was just waking up, like maybe I'll wake up 6.30 and then I'll snooze the alarm, wake up 7.30 or I'll wake up 6.30, the alarm will go off for 10 minutes and I'm just, just ignoring it. But today, woke up 6.20, no, 6.15 I woke up, no alarm, I looked at it, I was like, my alarm's going off in 10 minutes, and I was just like, my head like, when that alarm goes off, I'm jumping out of bed, when that alarm goes off, I'm jumping out of bed, when that alarm goes off, I'm jumping out of bed, 6 20, jump out of bed, you know what I'm saying? Like, so now, hopefully, the rest of the week, I'm on that, I just jump out of bed, and that's because I've constantly just been analysing myself, like, like, you know what I mean? Basic point is, just don't allow yourself to fuck up throughout the week, and just, yeah, like I had a bad week, and just do it again, you know what I'm saying? Catch yourself, hold yourself accountable, and, you know what I mean? Plan. So, if you do that, if you use your Sundays productively, you build systems, you analyse, you clean your areas that you're always in or declutter them, and you have a self-care day, bro, you go into the next week feeling all good, like it's Monday and I'm feeling amazing, I'm feeling great, you know what I'm saying? So this is your week, tackle the week whenever you see this, even if you see this on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, listen, it's your day, it's your week, make it productive and when it gets to the weekend, analyse your week and make sure you have a better week than you did before. Alright, cool. That is it. Sunday, Systems Day, or How to Use Sundays. So you love Mondays, whatever time I choose.